Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the use of the size of method function to calculate the size of an array. Now what I've got here is an integer variable called a number and this is going to be used to, to ask the user what the size of the array they'd like it to be and I'm going to store the entry in, an, in the variable we just created and then I'm going to set my array to be of that size. Now it is quite straightforward that the size of the array is equal to a number. But I'm also going to show you how you can retrieve the size of the array using the size of function. First, I'm just going to declare a um, variable called size array size. And I'm going to be giving it this value. And I'm also going to be C outing this value back to the user. And I'll just say number entered by the user is this value. So nothing much so far, just pretty standard. Let's compile this and make sure it works as expected. And it, if I said seven, then it's just saying, ask, um, printing that back to, to me. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a few things of the array uh, size of. I'm going to be reusing this value and here I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to use a size of function and I'm just going to give it the array, uh, the array, an array like this. Okay. And I'm also going to be C out, this back to the user and I'm going to just copy this just so we know what we are, what is being displayed. Let's do an end L here and end on here as well. Okay, so let's save and compile. Now this is going to be giving us the total bytes that the array is holding. So it's not really our final answer, but I just wanted to break it up for you. So if I said seven, the size of the array is 28. Okay, now we are, we are created, we have created an array of integers. So we want to know what size of the integer is. Okay. And so there are ways to do this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be copying this part and we are just reusing this variable really just for explaining purposes. Now here, I would like to know what is the size of an integer. So I can just do this and this is a type of my array. And I'm going to make that also here and let's have a look at what value we get. Okay. So if I said seven, uh, the size of the total array is 28 and the size of an integer is four. So it's pretty straightforward that 28 divided by four will also give me the um, size of the array. Okay. So, yeah. So that's one way to find out the size of the array is you would, you can divide this by this and have your final answer. Um, let me just show you if you don't want to be typing in the integer because I can actually change this to a string and that means I have to kind of retype this every time. So what I can also do is I can put a pointer to this array and this will also give me the um, the size of integers. So this is going to be the uh, total um, total bytes that the array is holding. This is size of integer which is four bytes. This is also uh, also gives the size of integer if you don't want to mention the data type. So let's print it out. And if I said seven, it's also, uh, I should have changed the message. Yeah, I should change the message just so for printing purposes. Okay. Another way that you can also find the size of integer and you don't want to mention the data type is what you can do is also find the size of the first element of your array like this. That's also another method of doing so. So I'm just going to be changing my message here. This is also going to be um, giving you the size of bytes for the first element, which should also be four. So let's run. So here, um, all of these are giving our methods, are ways of getting the size of integers or the first element. Okay. Okay, 
Now what we can do, now that we know the total um, bytes that the array is holding and we know the size of integers or the size of the first, size of integer as well and size of uh, first element of our array, we can, all we need to do is divide this by any of these ways. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to be demonstrating um, all of them like this. So this is one way, divide by, by this. So um, we can do it like that, divided by, and I'll copy all of this and put it in here. So that's one way. Let's compile this and run. So if I set seven, so this method is also giving me seven, which should also match that number that we've already knew from the beginning. Okay. and. Let's do one more. Now this is going to be this way. And let's compile. It should also give me the same results. Okay. And the other one, which was the size of the first element, which is the popular way, by the way. So this part here, and this part, compile, run, so all of them are being consistent, okay? Okay, so really, um, you might want, would like to use this because you don't have to mention the type or anything of that sort. It is up to you. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.